And starting off with LDBC's Most Wanted. Thank you for this four ninety nine super chat. Who says, saludos, Peter Report. Some recency bias, but Levante David, 54, is creeping closer to my Bucks Mount Rushmore. If he becomes a Hall of Famer, how close will he be to yours? It's a good yeah, question. I mean, it really is. It's so tough, right? Because when you look at the two best linebackers in the NFL, or I should say in Tampa Bay history, um, and they were two of the best linebackers in the NFL, Derek Brooks, Levante David. Huge difference in terms of of accolades, right? I mean, yeah, Levante David has one all pro appearance and one pro bowl appearance, mostly because during his era, a lot of the linebackers are outside linebackers that that are sim- simply edge rushers that get the linebacker designation. I think the pro bowl is so flawed in so many different ways, but it's they should, field junior, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, for, no doubt. <laughs> They should have a designation for edge rusher, and they should include outside linebackers Great. and defensive ends in that realm, and then have a like a, a different designation for linebackers. Guys like Luke Kuechly used to beat out Derek Bur- or beat out Levante David, and um, Bobby Wagner he would also beat out Levante David. So um, Derek Brooks had thirteen Pro Bowl appearances. Uh, in his illustrious career with, with the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, that, that's a lot, right? That, that's, that's the most in team history. Um, he was also the, the NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 2002. So wh- who is Levante going to replace, right? Because in my opinion, the yeah. Mount Rushmore, when you have four guys right now, it's Leroy, it's Warren Sapp, it's Derek Brooks, and Rondé Barber. Those are my four. And I've, I've already gone on record saying when Mike Evans retires and gets his gold jacket, in my opinion, he replaces Leroy Selman. Because Leroy Selman, although he was great, he had a, a defensive player of the year honor, but so did Sapp and so did Brooks. And they also won a Super Bowl, something that Leroy didn't. Mike Evans is not just the best wide receiver in Bucks history, the best weapon. He's the top scorer. In, in Tampa yeah. Bay history, right? After last Sunday's touchdown. And he's also a Super Bowl champion. Heck, he might win another Super Bowl. And if that's the case, for sure. sure he's in there. So you've got four guys, and as great as Levante is, and I love Levante, David, love him. I, I don't know that he is in the top four. Is he number five on the outside looking in? Yeah, maybe. You can make an argument for that. But then he's doing head-to-head with Leroy Selman, who's a Hall of Famer. I don't know. If he becomes a Hall of Famer, that certainly helps his case. I just don't, I don't think yeah. he gets the Hall of Fame, though, because he doesn't have the Pro Bowls. Well, we'll see if he plays another year or two and the Bucs continue to be successful. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Good Morning Football will continue and then yeah. other national publications will right. continue to bang the door for him. Yes, yeah, so, like, I already have Mike on mine. I, I completely understand your point of like finishing everything. But to me, he's already on it. Um and then Rondé, Sapp, and, and uh, Derek Brooks are on it as well. So I think for me, I have Levante maybe like six, like because you've yeah. got to factor in Leroy as well. But after that, I think an important thing as well is, you know, like Brooks was there his entire career in Tampa. Same yeah. with Mike. Same with Derek Brooks where Warren Sapp, you know, went on to the Raiders. But yeah. Sapp, like his year when he won the Defensive Player of the Year was just an unreal season. Yeah. And same with like the career of Derek Brooks. And, you know, teams, even though I was younger, like teams feared Warren Sapp. Like right. you game planned against Warren Sapp and yeah. Derek Brooks. I don't necessarily know if other people around the league are like, oh, my God, they're playing the block Bucks. Watch out for Levante David. Yeah. As great as we know how great Levante David is, I don't necessarily think like all other teams think that. And then they get smacked in the mouth when Levante, <laughs> you know, rolls up uh, against them. Right. Now, if we're talking about, Matt Rushmore of Bucks of the last decade, it's Mike and Levante, yeah, no question, no one, no two, no uh, and nothing about it. And then you're just arguing for uh, the next two spots. So, unfortunately, I don't think Levante's on it, but it doesn't diminish any of his accomplishments and what yes. he means to the team. 